Hello, hello everyone. I'm just doing a quick video on this junk journal that I made for a swap, a 12 days of Christmas theme. And I've done journals before. Um, I just don't videotape them, nor do I take a lot of pictures. I just kind of give them away as gifts. But this one I did with a vintage um, little golden book the night before Christmas and it's definitely got some vintage worn like little tears here and there but makes it all the better um, the binding I did the ring binding just because I, I really like this style I don't know why um, I want to find different colors but yeah it's real chunky as you guys can see sorry I'm videotaping in my daughter's room because my craft room is a hot mess right now with Christmas stuff all the play all over the place Anyways, this is going to be a quick little video. I put some cute little cards in there for journaling or whatever, you know. Um, this is just fun pocket. They could put pictures or journal, a piece of paper on top of that, you know. I mean, endless fun little just randomness um, some of the pages are pretty basic just maybe for pictures I mean they could add stuff if they want obviously and then I, I mean I try to put as many pockets I think with most junk journals just whatever I thought this was fun I did some tea dyeing a while ago and so I thought I'd add those made a fun little paper clip there you can attach anything um, didn't make it add a lot sometimes just because to the page because it makes it too chunky and then it's hard to close but I think this is a fun one for Christmas to put maybe just random pictures or journaling but yeah so this is just it's not even glued down if she wants to glue it down she can and then I put a tag there but you can stick more pictures in there this is not attached either it's just a fun little pocket card add a little flower there kind of got a little stitch too tight but I did not want to cover up the Santa. I think he is so awesome. Uh, probably one of my favorites. Um, so I figured if she wants, she could either leave it blank or paper clip something or put pictures over it. But yeah. And then I added this. This is from the Tim Holtz new little ephemera. I got the mini pack and I just love them. I was going to glitter it, but no. Uh, and then you have these little stickers, right? When they don't want to stay down. Got to go back in there and glue it down. But I added a little bit of Brad's. Yep. Oh, I love this guy right here. Just a little mini vignette of paper piecing with the Tim Holtz line. Love it. I left some pages in there just so that you could, you know, read some of the storyline. Oh, I made this. You know, I just, it's fun to work. These are vintage um, Christmas tags for gifts, and I found them at a thrift store. Or actually it was like an antique shop but they closed I was so bombed it's like my favorite place to go and they closed and then it's just a little leaflet again another little fun tag in there little pockets thought that would be fun little Christmas tree I think I found this trim at Michael's or Joann's Joann's and they had the 70% off ribbon and trim and then this is part of a book um, journal and I just took it but I didn't want to cut because obviously it would cut that part so I just added ribbon to it to give it a little extra you know something and then just add stickers and went with a circle little theme there and it's also a pocket so this one has recipe cards which I thought was cool but it doesn't have to have recipe in there it could just be whatever she could add more pockets this is the one I posted on face or Instagram sorry not Facebook but oh my god I love it I just love this vintage worn like looking and this is a little doily that I dyed in tea and then I stamped over it and then this vellum is also dyed in tea just a while ago that I did that sometimes I'll just randomly dye my paper and then here's another little pocket slide yeah this one was fun to make guys it took me a little longer than expected um, since I stapled this part, I had a staple down here, so I thought I'd do that so she could put stuff back here, but leave Santa open, and then this is just, that'd be fun to like, oops, do like a just little sheet in there. These are from the dollar store, and I just folded it in half, 
and kind of made a little page there. And then this is a pocket. And I added those two inserts. So she can put pictures or extra little notes or memories in there just to keep the stash. Add a little flip page, a little picture there. And then again, I left Santa little stockings, incorporating some stuff. Okay, this is probably one of my favorites. Love this snowman. And I found some napkins that have snowmen on it, so I can't wait. And yeah, it's just stapled on there. And then look at this. Ah! love it oh my god I made myself one of these two and kept it so I made an extra one but she can turn on the back or just even keep it blank and then oh, these little I found these at a antique shop in or no at, at the Heinz Hospice which is like a thrift store um, and all the proceeds go to the program and so I found these cards there a couple years ago and I just thought I'd add it. I don't want to cover up too much because I like the little girl lighting the candle. And this is just a simple one. I put a little corner. They're buttons and I found them in while well, I was in Texas. This is part of, oh I want to say Echo Park, maybe Simple Stories. My brain can't think anymore but I added some stickles to that and around here just to kind of make it stand out. Again, another pocket recipe card. Now this is the, oh, I love this page. This is probably by far my favorite thing in this book. Um, used some really cool stuff in it. Like this contact score pad was from a antique shop that I found in Texas and I found a couple of them and I thought it'd be so cool to add them. This is from the antique paper line. This is Tim Holtz, little ephemera. Tim Holtz on a paper sheet. No, this is authentic. Authentic, I think it is actually. Um, and this is part of that paper line. And then this is a little Christmas stamp that is vintage and a friend of mine gifted that to me so I added it on there. And then I added some lace that I cut up and just inked with some walnut ink, added a trim. These little flowers are the Hobby Lobby obviously, which are some of my favorites. I buy them every year. A couple stash if I find them on sale, um, grab them. And these are some vintage stickers that I happened to get last year and I can't remember the company name but it comes in a set of a bunch of like different styles and it's just fun to add them here and there and then this is um, a rub on from Heidi Swap from like two years ago I think I love that paper line I have like four or five of her books <laughs> um, that I created a scrapbook mini um, like book where I put all my holiday cards after I'm done with them and then this is just a piece of doily that I dyed um, I bought them in strips but usually you could just use a placemat and you cut it down basically is what it is and I think it's cheaper to go that route than order them the way I did but you know cut some time and pay the price and then I put a little pocket there that has a really cool like vintage look to it and another little pocket and a cute little saying for Santa and then I left that and then I added some more of that Heidi Swab rub-ons and then oh my gosh yeah I forgot about this I love this little pocket card I thought I'd add just a fun little thing there make it all vintage Santa tags that I also got last year and I can't, I can't remember where I got them I want to say I got them online just randomly found them because I spent way too much time on the internet um, instead of cleaning my house. Ha! Anywho. Yeah, this, this is part of a tag. I want to say I got them at Tuesday morning and I just took them apart. Don't be afraid to take stuff apart. I do it all the time. Um, it's fun. It's different. Oh, I love this. Yeah, I forgot about this. So, I love the Vintage Santa and this is a Stampers Anonymous. It's huge, but I love it. And so I stamped it on some music um sheets that i found on ebay i think they were it's part of a one of those church music books people clear it like get rid of and just they sell them i guess and so i bought a bunch and so they're just random you know music sheets and i um tear them up and use them for a bunch of different stuff but i thought this was cute and then i added this little tag see more santa i love this and then I made this little tag, just added some stickers, some Tim Holtz. I actually fussy cut this little ornament out of a paper pad. I don't know which paper line it is, but 
I'm sure some of you will recognize it. And this is some more Heidi Swap rub-ons. They kind of didn't go on too well, but oh well. And then I added some rhinestones and some ribbon and call it good. And then this is just a simple little scrapbook page. I mean, the whole idea for me is like, I love scrapbooks, so I make these books. And she can add more to stuff to it too, to embellish it, like a little pocket card there. Eee, it's not rolling back, it's tight. That's the only downside, right? I stitched it, I don't know if you can see that, onto the paper and then glued it down, but yeah. And then this is just a little page that I threw in there, so cute. Little Santa, and I added a little eyelet, which I think was a little aggressive with it. <laughs> a little doily, and then this is an ornament I made um, from, I think this is the Sizzix, one of the ornament dies that I have from them and then just a little simple scrap of page to stick a photo and you know open up on the inside to slide it in there little pocket and i added i cut up this is a card and i cut it up and she could journal or put pictures back there um yeah just random fun stuff and some trims and then i just left this because i really love this picture it's so cool you don't need to do anything to it right then this one is kind of cool because I added lace so she could put stuff under here if she wants. I put a piece of paper back here like to hold it. She could put a picture, just random stuff. And then I, this was part of a tag that I want to say I found at Tuesday morning maybe. Um, can't remember, maybe Marshall's. TJ Maxx, one of those places, and I cut them up and I make them my own, add a little extra stuff, and I just attached it with a little cute um, clothespin. Ah, and our gingerbread man. This is the gingerbread man that I used using the Hobby Lobby die, and I actually, what I did with this guy is that I added a lot of um, glitter to it by using the Tim Holtz um, ink resist stuff. I think that's what it's called. Anyways, I saw him on his live post and I thought I'd try it, but I inked it up under, like before I did that and added some of his, um, what is it? Mika, Mika spray stuff in this like bronze color. Kind of see it, kind of don't, um, but then I added the glitter and I just love the way they turned out. I also used, like I made a bunch of them, like cut out, I don't know how many, more than 20 because I needed to make 20 of them for um, any swap that I'm in for Christmas tags. But I made this little fun pocket and then, oh, I love this paper. It's so cute. This little snowman actually really like is similar to the Tim Holtz cookie die, which I'm kind of excited for because I think I have it in his little kit. And then those are my next thing to play with. Then I added this. This is just a little heart um, doily that I think everybody has them in their stash and I dyed them with tea like you literally boil tea put it in a pan and then dip your paper in that's it and then you dry it you can use the oven to dry or let it air dry I use the oven I think the heat is supposed to be 220 I did about 350 and almost burned my house down huh. <laughs> yeah lesson learned pay attention um, and then this is just a little fun scrapbook page and she could journal there or add more stickers and the last page kind of went with a little bit more of that Santa and oh, I love these little stickers I want to say this is from Hobby Lobby I believe and I really like the pattern just kind of went with the gold and doesn't really match the antique theme but a vintage theme I mean but I still love it anyways yep this is her book she'll be getting it sometime next week and I hope she loves it it'll be her last gift to open and I'm sure she'll post it. So I won't say who it's for. Oh, and my tassel, I'm still working on those and I need to add a little extra trinkets, but I gotta find my stash. Yep, that's it, I hope you guys like it. It's fun, you can do whatever. That's what's great about junk journals. There's so many tutorials on here, on YouTube and Instagram. I mean, hashtag junk journal and you come up with so many things. So you guys have a good Christmas and keep crafting. Bye-bye.